Our News Tonight's Kaylee Bourgeois joins us live at the OSBI headquarters to tell us what investigators know right now. Kaylee? Amanda and Kelly, this started as a domestic call, but when police arrived, they encountered a suspect that they'd seen many times before. Lights and sirens woke neighbors in this Chickasha neighborhood last night. Just all the lights were. It was a big deal. Chickasha police were called to a home on South 7th Street a little before 10. When they arrived, the deceased suspect was threatening his girlfriend with a knife. Investigators say that suspect was 47 year old Kevin Samuel Capers. Three officers approached and that's when investigators say Capers began to threaten them with the knife. He continued to threaten officers with the knife, refused to put it down, so he was shot. Capers died at the scene and no one else was injured. Investigators say two officers discharged their weapons and they were wearing body cameras. Now evidence for the OSBI as they take over the investigation. The OSBI is the lead investigator on this case and the officers involved in the shooting last night are on administrative leave. According to records, the deceased suspect has a lengthy criminal history. Multiple women have filed protective orders against him. Capers has been arrested numerous times since the late 1990s. Some of his offenses include burglary, possession of paraphernalia, domestic abuse, and harboring a fugitive. I can tell you the investigation is ongoing at this point in time. In addition to his arrests in Grady County, Capers has also been arrested a few times in Caddo County. Live in Oklahoma City at the OSBI headquarters, Kaylee Bourgeois, Oklahoma Zone News 9.